Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to segment surfaces that have already been created. So we're going to start by focusing in on the area that we're working on. And for this video, we're working on the elevator shaft. As you can see, all the surfaces, members, and nodes in this particular area are already selected in my model. And I'm going to isolate them by clicking on the View tab and the Ribbon Toolbar and clicking on the Selected Objects Only icon. Now within this particular area, we're going to make the choice to go ahead and segment our surfaces uh, at each floor level. Now, although it is not necessary to divide continuous surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, we're going to make this decision for the model to break up the walls at each floor level. Now, for this particular model, considering that the walls will be concrete and will be designed in the STAD RCDC, it would make sense to model the walls broken up since the STAD RCDC does recommend that walls are created for each level. Then, when the walls are imported into the STAD RCDC, the program will import the forces from the STAD Pro analysis at the top and bottom of each wall level successfully. So let's go ahead and get started. And we are going to select our surfaces, which are already selected as you can see. Now, when you make any type of selection within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you're going to see additional tools available in the ribbon toolbar. Here you can see I have nodes, members, and surfaces selected. If I select just the surfaces, I will have just the surface tools available. So let's go ahead and select that tab. And here you see we have a couple of different tools. We can use the Divide Surface command to divide the selected surfaces into smaller entities. Uh, if you've already done that and want to reverse that operation, you can use the Merge Surface command that will merge two or more selected surfaces into a single surface. Again, you want to make sure those surfaces are in the same plane using that command. And we also have this option to create a gap. This is used to specify a gap around a selected four noted surface. So we have our surfaces selected and let's go ahead and click on that divide icon. Here we're going to enter the number of segments over the first edge. I'm going to go ahead and enter three there. Number of segments over the second edge. Let's go ahead and enter one. And do we want to create the nodes only? No, I actually want to segment the surfaces officially. So let's go ahead and click OK. And the program is going to run its process. Okay, as you can see, my surfaces have been divided at each particular floor level. Now, the reason I can go ahead and enter the number of segments over each um, edge of the model is because I drew these surfaces with the same orientation. That's number one. And also, my floor levels are equally spaced. If that's not the case, you might need to go ahead and pay a little bit more attention to your spacing on your particular model. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and save my model. And I'm going to turn on everything again. So I'll go to the View tab and the Ribbon toolbar and turn off the View Selected Objects Only icon. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.